this Torah portion, Shemot, names, beginning of the book of Exodus, chapter 1 through chapter 6. This portion of Torah is a fulfillment of prophecy told by Yah to Abraham way back in Genesis 15, 13, when he said unto Abraham, know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years. Now Moses was born a nameless child, but he, but he became a son of royalty, the mighty man of Egypt. Acts 7.22 says that Moses uh, was schooled in all the wisdom in Egypt. Yet, he had to be educated by Yah to carry out his purpose. So he was born under a sentence of death. Pharaoh ordered the firstborn to be put to death, Hebrews and Egyptian. And in... Uh, Hebrews 11, the book of Hebrews 11, records how they hid him because he was a goodly child. And uh, we know that coincidence and accidents don't happen with Yah. That day, Pharaoh's daughter went to ba bathe in the river. That day, a little ark came along with a baby in it. That day, this child of a Hebrew woman that his sister waited to see and stay with him, watching, spoke for the child to say, I go to get his mom. And that day, mom got paid to nurse her own child. Chapter 2, verse 10. The the child grew. Forty years later, forty years in Egypt, which we associate with sin, Egypt, living in darkness of the world. Moses knew who he was, who were his own. He knew. In Hebrews uh, chapter 11, 24 says, By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Then after these things, he takes a man's life. He flees into the backside of the desert and lives another 40 years as a shepherd herding sheep. So Yah prepared a man now 80 years old. To be his messenger and then his deliverer of his people. Yah works on all of us differently. We are his workmanship and all are made to serve in the army of the Lord. In this ministry or in your neighborhood, you can serve with what is pressed upon your heart. That, that's it. If there is nothing there, I pray you don't wait too long to do something about it. I want to go to Ephesians 2.10. It says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. We are his workmanship. He is the God who sees. Ephesians 2.13 says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were made far off are made near by the blood of Christ. This word near. And I want to give you some reference books. There is a reference book, uh, The Word Meaning in the New Testament by Ralph Earl. The Greek Word um, Lexicon by Idle. I mean, Little, Scott, and Jones. 
the Greek uh, English lexicon by Plummer, and also David J. Williams' pause metaphor to help us understand more about words in Greek. So this word near in Greek is ingenus. It's also same word in geneto. Same word in genetito. It means come into being as in was born, like born again. And the word, you see the word gene as in Genesis in that word. So it to us, it is our Genesis when he draws us near it, it is us, it's his work on us. It's our genesis, our beginning, beginning at the beginning of his workmanship. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. It says, Now thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Now this word, savor, the os, osma, the osma, which we get the English word for odor, fragrance. Now our Messiah is the one, the conqueror, the, and that knowledge of Messiah, which Yah made, made known in every place through the apostles, which has made us to triumph in Christ, who's made us a scent or a fragrance of that knowledge. So by being connected to him, we are a sweet smelling sacrifice the other side of this is we can make ourselves to stinketh among the people chapter 3 now Yah's silence is broken after 80 years Yah spoke to this 80 year old Moses the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. What a great moment. When Moses said, I will now turn aside to see this great sight and why the bush is not burned. Now even the stiffest neck can bend like mine's. I'm so grateful my head didn't pop off. Repentance in the Greek is turning from my ways towards God. To turn is also a beginning, a genesis, a part of it. At the moment Moses turned, Yah called to him by his name. Yah didn't give him a new name, but by the name given to him in Egypt. The Egyptian meaning of Moses, Moshe, is the word son for son but the hebrew meaning for moses is to pull out or to draw out same word being made near and geneto and genus the word gen in it is our genesis john six forty four. no one Said, Jesus said, No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Draw. Same word, being made near. Draw him and I will raise him up at the last day. Let's go to Acts 7, chapter 7, verse 17 and 29. Now the backdrop of this was that there were a certain of the synagogue disputing with Stephen and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which Stephen spoke. They were in the synagogue but they were of the aroma 
that stinketh. And Stephen made them recall this part of the Torah. And it says, But when the time of the promise drew near, which God has sworn to Abraham, the people drew, grew and multiplied in Egypt, till another king arose which knew not Joseph. The same dealt suddenly with our kindred, and evil entreated our fathers, so that they cast out their young children in the end they might not live, in which time Moses was born and was exceedingly fair and nourished up in his father's house three months and when he was cast out pharaoh's daughter took him up and nourished him for her own son and the moses and moses was learned in all the wisdom of the egyptian and was mighty in the word and in deeds and when he was full Forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended him and avenged him that was oppressed and smote the Egyptian. For he supposed his brethren would have understood how that God by his hand would deliver them, but they understood not. And he, he showed himself unto them as they shoved, sto strove, and would, set, would have set them at one again, saying, Sir, ye are brethren, why do ye wrong one to another? But he that did his neighbor wrong thrust him away, saying, Who made thee a ruler? and a judge over us. Wilt thou kill me as thou didst the Egyptian yesterday? Then fled Moses at this saying, and was stranger in the land of Midian, where he begot two sons. I'm going to stop here. There's a lot more. And uh, what, the, uh, what happened is that uh, they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon uh, Stephen with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him because of it, because they couldn't take uh, the truth. Who can argue with the truth? The two sons that Moses had, the oldest one was uh, Gershom. And Gershom, the name of Gershom, is uh, a stranger there. That's what the name of Gershom means, a stranger there. Like an alien of the commonwealth of Israel. And the other son was Elizar. And Elizar means help of my God. Rescue and drawn out. Now, Mama's name is Zipporah his wife and that means bird now the spiritual name of bird isn't it the holy spirit so when we put it all together it's a stranger there by help of my god through the holy spirit like the pastor has said many times you can't make this up let's go to the psalms psalms 42 and 43 it is a remedy for a sad heart. When David was um, out there alone, and at, the, at first he didn't have a place to assemble with the saints like we do today. We have the web, and we can go to a place to assemble, to stay connected and praise Yah and talk about Yah's word. David didn't have these things at first. And someone with a sad heart should remember that the awesome things and the joy that Yah brings into the heart. And to know that this will happen again. Psalms 42 and 4. When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I have 
gone with the multitude, I went with them to the house of God with a voice of joy and praise with a multitude that kept holiday. Shemat names.